I think we're prepared to do this. Hello, I'm Zeus Pantera, the host here of In Ear, In Ear Fetish and of Z Reviews and other things. And Mousepad is changing the desk. I'll link the Video Club Mousepad because it looks cool. And it, I actually had to leave this desk to make that wallpaper when I found out a thing about these IMs. Because these... Tigerism, no model number, and then you open it up and you got this, re it's oddly weird that you get like just white foam. I haven't seen white foam in a thing in forever. Um, the, these are the flagship Sun Wukong 14.2 millimeter single dynamic, $750. So Apos sent them and Apos asked me, like, hey, when you do the review, you need to do it under your fetish, but could you take them out every once in a while and use them on the main channel? And that's not going to be a problem, because they sound different on every amplifier, which is what I'm looking for when I'm testing amps with IMs. However, the reason we had to go with Best Girl Kambudu, which if you don't think Kambudu, there's only two types of people. People who think Kambudu Best Girl, and people who aren't my friends. So, um, yeah, right here. In Chinese literature, Sun Wukong... Or, the Monkey King is a supernatural primate who possesses super strength, speed, and magical powers like transformation. Like, bitch, what? Also, just another thing I highlighted down here in the specs of the driver. Um, or no, maybe this is the material like this? Because it just says, material, Japanese imported big black CCA. You fill in the rest with your own thoughts. These are a 44 ohm IM, which is probably the only reason they're only slightly less efficient than the Dunes and Pros. So I actually pulled the Dunes and Pros and put them in here. Um, just to compare, like I left the volume at 50 and then swapped. And these things are, I was like looking at this, by the way. I'm like, that's not a human being's hand. That's like a monkey. And sure as shit was. Um, so I knew that without even reading it. So this is Tigerism's top of the line, and it's a single dynamic, and it's a kind of expensive single dynamic, and I'm so glad it sounds good, because I'd feel real awkward if I had to give a combo to a bad review. So let's let's continue. I'm trying to dance, but I don't know how the stabilization on the camera is holding up. What am I playing? I actually don't even know this song. Oh, it's got all Japanese characters. Oh, it's, it's from Kizu Monogatari, which is, I don't think she, she's Kizu? No, that's from the movie, but she appears. Whatever. Point is, I'm dancing to it. Um, fuck yeah, Amber Rubarth. This is probably, is this the biggest dynamic? Like, I've heard of 14 millimeter planars. I know that's a thing. And there have been large dynamics, but they usually either suck or in combination with things... And then suck. So those are your two options. So this might be the biggest planar, the biggest non-planar 14.2 millimeter dynamic that actually is good. It is actual good. I'm hands on desk, on heart. I'm enjoying everything coming out of them. Uh, we have to talk a couple problems with the build that kind of throw me off. Like, all right, here. I'll pull them out of my ears. Uh, first of all, big black wire. Uh, the same one that's on these cheaper, more um, more affordable Tigerisms, both of which I'd like to point out, the reason that I agreed to do this, because APOS is kind of nervous. They're the only ones bringing Tigerism into the country, or at least America. So they're like, I don't know if we want to do this and we're going to pick the investment because we've got to buy a certain number. Like, But I liked both the original Tigerisms. And yes, it is Tigerism. And I could have gone with Palm Top Tiger because this is the top of the line tiger you get it but monkey is more important um when the first two i reviewed i did them sort of back to back because they're like here's these things what do you think and they are so different in sound but i love them both individually for what they did one was like i could sleep to the it literally was the most chill i am i've listened to in years and the other one was like the most aggressive i've listened to in years but both worked so when they said hey should we get the top of the line would you like to review it i'm like yeah, sure. They've got a good track record. So this is three for three with Tigerisms and fucking thumbs up with CS. So now the look on this, and I, I keep forgetting that I, you can see now. You get like a kitty cat face on there, which is kind of cute. They're not very, they don't look like a $750 IM as far as like 
that's that's great. That could be a two hundred dollar IM. There's your number. Can you read the number? I want to know if I could read the number on camera. I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna see if you could read it. Uh, two pin. It still does this thing that Tigerism's been doing in all three of their thing, where they have this wire, and the wire doesn't change throughout all three models. I don't. I'd have to check. At least one model has this wire. The other one might have been different. But it's a it's a deep two pin. Like it's got the extension here, but then this is a flush mount, which means if you wanted to, you could use uh my uh Chimera cable if you wanted to. But yeah, so it does it sort of fits and then it doesn't do anything with that. And that can be a little annoying. It makes it a little bit longer, and this is already a pretty chunky amount before the turn. Which just means they're not going to sit in your ear like that. They're going to sit in your ear like this when it goes up. The other issue I had with the build, and this isn't a deal breaker. It just happens to fuck around with all my stuff. It's got a very short nozzle. Girl ever tells you she got a, you got a very short nozzle. You know what you tell her? Well, baby, that's fine because I'll just get the Davinius Velvet tips and it'll fit perfectly. So, yeah, I was having problems where the IM tip was dislodging in my ear. I was using... It didn't. Ha it happened. It happened once where it fell off as I was taking it out. With uh, God, this is so hot because this thing is on fire. It's the new person that is like burning. Um, Sednafidex elastics fell off. Uh, my render tips. One of them, like I pulled out, it was just in my ear. I'm like, fuck. I didn't have the problem with the Duno SS because I pulled them out real slow and careful. But then I realized I have the Divinius. Uh, here they are, Divinius velvets which i don't use enough because i only have one pair that fits me i need large on both sides but they have an extra small hole that's just a rim because it's a large see it's a big hole but then the actual mount is a small hole so you actually like you get a fucking grip plus the whole point of the velvet ear tips is it is they are the smoothest like seriously it's sex toy material don't ask me how i know i just know Someone in China was like, oh, my ears. Um, so these are the tips that not only do they f not fall off and feel good when you put them in the hole, um, they really sound good. There is a sound difference. It's weird because the more complicated an IM, you think the, the harder it would be to like tune things, but usually I could swap tips and it doesn't make a huge difference. These single dynamics were just a blanket hole because I guess because these are such a like you actually have a lot of transmission through there, make a he I don't want to say huge like I can't tell you to use your own tips, but there's gonna be a sound difference depending on what you're going with. I shall I show you the end of the the other the last thing that bothers me about the wire. I have it an adapter for reasons we'll talk about. Is it comes with this cool looking 4.4 with white separators, but then the back it like goes from a circle to a hexagon. And this is kind of sharp, like not really sharp. On the wires, just sort of like in there. There's no, like the strain relief is the edge of this metal thing. What? It's fine. All right. I'm using the DD Hi Fi adapter, the DJ65B. Uh, what a male symbol on that? That's weird. Anyway, I'm using this adapter. Because these are so sensitive, I was having a hard... First, I was going from, like, this unit with balance to this unit with balance to this unit with balance to this unit that isn't really balanced and it needs to, to this unit. To, to, and I wanted to try it on this, which is balanced. And the sound changes were, like, ooh, this is 8% wider or 4%. And then I went to this, right? Here. Oh! Okay, so if you made it this point to the video, just know that... There's a couple of build quirks. They're relatively comfortable as far as the shape, if you can get your preferred nozzle on there. The wire is fine. The price is expensive. But holy fuck out of a tube. As you can see, I put the TA-66 here, where the TA-26 was. Used to be the Dark Voice, said it was a TA-26, and now it's a TA-66. So congratulations, X2O. You're, you're two in a row. Um, because it made such a big difference in the solid state amps, I decided I'm going to have to test with, with a tube. I warm that son of a bitch up, throw on an adapter, and... Oh. Amber Rubarth, down home from the sessions on 17th, from the 17th ward. That is some absurd soundstage. Like, and I could just play, and then... 
unplug this and go into something a little bit more neutral. God, you please don't kill me. And that's still, I mean, this is a giant fuck off top of the line Burson amp that is so hot. I literally, that's as long as I can hold it. It's probably going to set my desk on fire. I need to stop. Um, oh, God, that sounds good, too, though. And then you pull over here, and we've got the audio, 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 audio. I love these IMs. There's something about a big dynamic, a single one driver, you get one. Now, I've never had them tune it properly. It's always lacked something, especially when you're making it bigger. But you got to keep in mind, oh, see, it's not an eight inch driver that can't produce low, can't produce highs. You're going from a 10 millimeter to a 14 millimeter. It's actually, I think I've had a 13 millimeter. Was it the, the, for the biggest dynamic I've ever experienced, it still does treble. So Tigerism's got some shit going on. They they talk about it on the APOS page. Uh, where was it? Innovative diaphragm design that uses a voice code component is a marvel of engineering. It's a floating edge that uses a PU composite material for exceptional flushability and enhanced space apart at the top of the diaphragm. Composite with the ceramic plating, striking perfect balance between lightness and rigidity. Blah, 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 blah. Here are the tips, by the way, on Hi-Fi Go. They're $19. Back to Kambudu, back to the IMs. So they're delivering this like envelope of sound, like a, a completely symmetrical sphere over my head of sound. And I can't tell if the sounds are happening close or far away. That's like a weird thing. It's like usually it's like, oh, with the Dunu Glacier, everything is far away. I brought them to. to can Jim New York. I plug them into things, and I'm like, God, they sound great. They sound great in everything. Not the greatest thing to test with, because everything just sounds so far away. And it doesn't matter if the detail sounds like it's been turned down, because that's the goal. You are away from it. These is weird, because I can't tell if... The detail doesn't sound like it's gone away. I'm hearing all the birds chirping, and the things flying overhead, and the birds, and shataclasmic tales. Shamanic tales from Asterix. But then, like, sounds where they're singing come real close. And then there's wide sounds and close sounds. So I don't know what the sound stage is on this. I guess it varies depending on the frequency response of said music. Here comes LED spirals from John Wick 1. And that's a 14 millimeter dynamic doing low end. It actually isn't as prominent. Because I know some people are just like afraid of low end. If you have Rinko and you didn't like them, this might still be up your alley. Because this is just like... It, I tell it's doing low end. It's like boom, boom, but it's a control. Everything's controlled. The one word I would say with this I am is control. It has it. It's got the monkey king going absolutely ape shit in your headphones, but he's chill. Like he's not raging around and bleeding and pooping on everything. He's just he's doing. You've seen the show, right? Very precise organ removing hits. He's pulling off. So I'm definitely, oof, what was that? Postmodern jukebox, incredible tap dancing medley. Feet Sarah Reich. So they're currently doing tap dancing. Hold on. Uh, uh, out of here. I put in the FX Audio DR07. This thing has magic properties. Like, I don't want, I'm, don't want to spoiler it, because this review is coming out before the review of this. But there's some shit in here. It's like they've applied a class A filter, but then accidentally applied it three times. Like, I don't know. Solid state stuff in the future is going to be weird. All right, I know you're all begging for it, so I'll plug it in here. I'm actually going to go back to balanced. Oh, too much. See, like, right? And I'm dying. Let's go back to not balanced. I actually hear a buzz in the left channel. But now there's no buzz. These are so sensitive that if your amp has got anything going on, it's going to be like, nope. So I actually am preferring running on the quarter inch for most of the stuff. God, this is good, too. This is the, the EF500. God, the hits. The hits, the tap dancing. I'm literally enjoying tap dancing in my brain. 
So I uh, go find postmodern jukebox invisible in incredible tap dancing medley. Yeah, no, these are uh, these um I'd love to give them a 10 out of 10. I know I don't do, I do the rating system and it's kind of weird. I'd love to give these a 10, but I can't because of the couple little like a 10 out of 10 has got to be like straight out of the box unless the sound quality is so good that it doesn't matter if the cable's covered in feces and the connectors are 2.5 millimeter and oh, by the way it only uses proprietary glued on tips you'd have to have the sound of jesus for that to like give you a 10 this can only ever reach a nine because the tip thing where it's going to fall off if you don't have a specific type of tip and that little weird bump out with this is just a little bit a little bit too long. That's just a little bit too long. And the wire's kind of funky on the end. Oh, real quick. Tigerism bag. For 750 you'd think you'd get a lot of stuff. You don't. You saw the inside of the box. You got a Tigerism little magnetic case, which I don't hate this type of case. You get... You don't get the Divinius. You get a Tigerism double footy bag, which is way better than the previous double footy bags. Like, look at this. You've got some nice pull string straps with a, with a tie-down notch. Um, and you also do get tips... And for some reason, purple. Chartreuse. Like, let me actually feel these. Hold on. Because I, I tend to not use stock tips. Because if I like them, well, if, you have no choice but to test them with the stock tips first. Get Always get an IM, by the way. And test with the stock tips first. Just because I like them with the velvets doesn't mean that you need to do that. If you just get these weird purple bastards. Why are you so weird? You're at, you feel a little bit more normal silicone-y, but... You're pretty. You're pretty. And then you got these clear ones. So you got two little cases of them. Are they cute? And that's it. One, two, three. This is, this is all the accessories you get. But they're, they're worth it for the sound. Seven fifty for the sound. For that engagement. For the engagement. For the kambaru engagement. Got into rewatch that show. Um, yes. 100%. These are a nine out the door couple little little things holding them back and i i think this could probably go from my gallery and just become a question mark like what the fuck is this is that a monkey holding a sword sheath and yes the answer is yes i plugged them into everything here um links to these on a post links to divinius tips are I usually have all the tips i use i'm not sure if the divinius are there if they're not i'll add them to the tips list because i do want to use them more but I don't get them for free, so I only have one set. So I'm going to have to buy another set so I have more than one pair I can use. Wallpaper in the wallpaper hoard. If you don't know how that works, you get every wallpaper I've ever used ever. You have no option to get just her unless you have a what's it called sink. You should pay for Resilio sink and then you can choose to sink. But you just want all my wallpapers anyway. It's free. Just go there, install Resilio sink, be like, what do you want to sink? Which folder? This one. And you get it all. Uh, Patreon subscribe star, please support the channel. Um, this 2024, 2025, things are changing up real harsh and I have plenty of places I want to go and, uh, your help is the only way it's going to get done. I will start doing new interesting things on the Patreon where like I put out a post and you put questions and I will answer those questions in a video recording, uh, which might stay private on Patreon for like a month or two and then go public. I'll see how that's going to work out. Um, mouse pad available in the description, probably on Amazon Fuck, I gotta do some more IM reviews now, but ruined. This is probably like a how long is this video? Holy crap, 18 minutes. You don't wanna see this. You don't you don't wanna see this. Anyway, I'm done. You're done. We're done. She's done. Thank you. Good night.